So, what shall we talk about today? Should we talk about how I'm a Gemini? You know what that means. Tell me what that means. Or that I am part man, part machine. Earth of might, I am like Darth Vader. Am I Darth Vader? Nah, man. We're here to talk about games. Mash Mikey Gaming. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Getting to Know Mad Mikey Mondays Vlogs. The show where I just let you a bit into my world and today I'm just going to do a bit of a special one. It's probably going to go a bit longer than what I expected. Uh, but basically what I want to show you this whole setup of this room that I'm working with. Uh, so from the PC that I've got, to how I actually film the YouTube videos, to all these statues that are back, because you're actually missing probably quite a lot at the bottom from below. Uh, so without further ado, let's go check it out. Alright, so what you guys can see here, uh, this is just actually my work desk. I'm just going to show you guys uh, how I sort of go about filming all the video and whatnot. Uh, so nothing really special over here, just Yoda hanging out. Um, what we've got over here... Uh, this is a lot of my current gen gaming and uh, just a few of the extra collectibles. So we've got Big Daddy there uh, from the original Bioshock game. Uh, we've got a zombie from Dead Rising 2, I believe. Uh, Steve Austin from one of the WWE 2K games and a minion, uh, which we kindly adopted. <laughs> So we actually dressed him up a few times and uh, just uh, for our ice hockey club. Uh, so just got a couple of the collector's edition games there. So um, got Mass Effect uh, Trilogy there on the PlayStation 3. Uh, Final Fantasy 10-10-2 uh, on the PS3. And as you just saw uh, on the PS4. The Assassin's Creed Rogue collector's edition. The Duke Nukem Limited Edition, the King Edition. Uh, couldn't get around to getting the other one. Sorry about that. And we've got the Dead or Alive 5, Xbox 360 Collector's Edition. And, oh my god, I can't even remember what this game's called again. Um, Killer is Dead, the Love, Love Edition. Love is Dead Edition. And just behind one of my favorite games of all time, Prince of Persia. Uh, so as you can see there, we've just got uh, my PlayStation 4 and my Xbox One games. Not all of them. And just down below, we've got uh, my select Dreamcast games. Uh, so this is just generally the setup. Uh, the PC is nothing special. Uh, it plays the games that I wanted to play. Like it does actually play The Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt. Um, and just over there, we've got a few family photos. Uh, this is just basically how I've got my setup uh, for my YouTube. So um, it's just a couple of the Assassin's Creed Collector's Edition boxes uh, with a bit of a tripod up the top. Uh, but then if we move forward, uh, we've just got a couple of extra collectors. One, we've got Cartman from Stick of Truth. Uh, we've got my Bay Ray, uh, which is one of the only ever vinyl pops that I've actually bought. And we've got a bobblehead there of Vars. Uh, just a few collector's <laughs> crap that, you know, just sort of just gets put in here. Uh, so this is the Metal Gear Solid 5 hat. Um, I'm sure there's just some other really weird stuff in there. Here is my video gaming uh, PC. Again, it's nothing really special. Uh, just a few, <laughs> And just a few collector's edition boxes on the sides to um, just hold up some of the hard drives, uh, along with the Court of the Owls mask there. Now we'll get on to what is the, the actual statues that I've got here. So this is the Assassin's Creed ones. Uh, the first two ones are generally taken up by this. So uh, just here we've got Connor, uh, which came with the collector's edition of the game. And we have Edward at the back, which was another collector's edition that came with the game. Uh, this Connor I actually bought. Altair, uh, I actually bought that one. That was like the last... Last character I didn't have a statue of, so when they actually released that one, I was really wrapped with it. Here we have the twins, Evie and Jacob Fry. Uh, they were just another couple of ones that I actually just bought outside of the box. Uh, we have Arno here, which was part of the collector's edition of four. And if you can just see at the back, I've just got a couple of the 
Co uh, collectors. Uh, so we have back there, we have Aveline. Uh, there's another Connor in there. And we have Haytham. And just on the second row here, we have another one of Arno and... Uh, what was her name? Elizabeth? No. I'm going blank right now, but I really love this this one, actually. Uh, it's it's just perfect thing. I wish they played a lot more on the actual love angle there of a Templar being... Elise! Elise de la Serre uh, was her name. Uh, I wish they played more on the angle of those guys. Uh, just with Arno's Phantom Blade just up the back. Uh, we have a, another Jacob statue with came for the Collector's Edition. Uh, just behind we've got the Play Arts of Connor. Uh, we've got the Edward and Blackbeard statue, which I bought as well, uh, along with um, Jacob and Edward's gauntlets at the back, and Ezio Auditore Lo Frenze, or however else you say it. Next up we have the Batman, the Batcave. Uh, so basically we've got the collector's editions of, uh, that's the Arkham Knight one at the back. Uh, this one's from the Arkham Origins. And just another statue. So I, it, I actually had to buy that one and that one's collector's editions because they put them out differently, which was really annoying. And then we have the Injustice collector's edition statue of Batman and Wonder Woman going at it. I really love that one. That's one of my favorite ones. And my two faves. Uh, so we've got Harley and Catwoman, uh, which I got for a couple of presents. Uh, if we go down one more level, dun, 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 we have my Mass Effect. Um, shelf uh so we got series one and two of the guys i uh, wish they'd bought out more of them um unfortunately they didn't i remember just really having to wait a long time for series one to actually come um you had to pre-order them and they kept getting delayed uh under here we got the two normandy sr2s uh basically i bought the second one because one of the others broke uh one of these little areas here, but I managed to super glue it back together. Uh, we've just got the the Elite badge there, uh, which I bought from PAX this year, as well as uh, Collector's Edition of Mass Effect 3 at the back um, on PlayStation 3 and on Xbox 360, so I'm pretty much a big fan. And I just can't bring myself to bring these Play Arts ones out um, for some strange reason. And then we have Liara, which was a special collector's edition one there. And just below here, we have uh, just a few odds and ends. Uh, so the Resident Evil 6 uh, collector's edition box. We've got the Pip-Boy collector's edition, which is really hard to find. We've got some Watch Dogs uh, hat and mask at the back. Uh, we have Cole from Infamous. And a drink bottle of <laughs> from Star Wars. Um, I like it. Just the back table, which you guys might be a bit more familiar with uh, from some of my earlier videos. So I've got Luke Skywalker, Skywalker. I got him for my 30th birthday off some relatives. They had no idea what it was, but they knew that I'd love it. Uh, Witcher 3. Link. Him. <laughs> uh, we've got Scorpion from the Collector's Edition of Mortal Kombat 10. Uh, we've got an Anakin there. Uh, which I really I got from a Star Wars thing at a science works fair. So that was pretty cool. I uh, just got a couple of pictures up the back of the twins. We have Max Payne from Max Payne 3 Collector's Edition. We have him, which no one likes. <laughs> Poor bastard. Uh, but I got that statue from the... I didn't actually get the Collector's Edition, but the EB games that I go to, uh, the guy really likes me there, so... He gave it to me just for like 15 bucks, which was really cool because that was one of their display ones. Uh, we then got the Doom 3 um, statue, which is really cool. Like I like the effect that they were going for uh, with the lights up the bottom and the, the fan going around. But it's just really not bright enough. Uh, then we got Drake from Uncharted 4 statue. And we have Adam Jensen from Deus Ex two uh got this tomb raider one i can't i think i just bought this one out of the box to be honest uh but then we've got the underworld uh collector's edition one and we have lara survival edition uh now that's actually a play arts one that i did take out and 
The reason I don't want to take them out is because I want them to actually look like the pose that they have in the pictures, and I can never do that. And probably one of the most disappointing collector's edition ones, the arm from Metal Gear Solid. Um, it, it's, pl it's totally plastic, and it was a lot smaller than what I was thought it was going to be. That's what she said. And then we just got all the Disney Infinities. I didn't get any of the crystal ones or anything like that. So what you're looking at here is um, season one or whatever they want to call it. And we got all of the ones from uh, the second collection. So the Marvel orientated ones. And just below we have the third one. Again, I didn't get any of the crystal ones. I did on these ones get some of the ones with the light up lightsabers. Uh, the only one that I haven't got yet are the, the last ones that they released, which was the, uh, what's it called? The Alice in Wonderland. And just have a couple of the Amiibos, like, they were just so hard to get when they first came out that I just sort of gave up and I'm just like, look, I'm going to get what I can and I'm just going to really pre-order the ones that I want to pre-order. Uh, so the, there's really no continuity there. It was just what was there, what was cheap and which ones I really wanted. And just below, we've got just a couple again, another couple of odds and ends. We've got the Lego um, starter packs that I got when they first came out. Uh, just the Mario Kart 8 Collector's Edition. Uh, now that Yoshi one, I actually got off of the Nintendo store when they started to cancel the, the rewards that they were giving out. Uh, they said that that one was a very limited one, so I quickly jumped on that together. It's really cute. Uh, and then we've got a little rabbit at the bottom, which is one of the favorite ones that we've got. And we've got a Resident e the Resident Evil 6 Collector's Edition with all the badge. Alright guys, so there you have it. Uh, that's basically the collection of this room. I was going to actually go and show you a lot of my gaming setups. Uh, so with my TVs and whatnot. But this whole area just took so much longer than I thought it was going to be. So maybe that's something I'll do next week. Uh, let me know in the comments if that's what you want to see. Uh, as, as per usual, give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. And we will see you tomorrow with the Tuesday edition of A Day in This Gamer's Life. Bye, guys.